guys, welcome back to my channel and to another episode of Trash Talk, everyone's favourite video, where I go through my beauty empties, I tell you whether I liked it, whether I repurchased it, whether I think you would like it, all of that good stuff. I post videos every Sunday at 7am London time. So if that's something that you're interested in, I post videos about my grey hair journey, which is now complete, but I will continue to talk about my hair. I talk about my Slimming World journey. I'm currently on Slimming World and doing rather well at that also. And we talk about luxury fashion sometimes and lots of beauty. So please subscribe down below. I look forward to seeing you in all of my videos. Until then, guys, let's get in to some trash talk. Guys, you know the drill by now, and again, I'm gonna say it, this bag is really full, so I'm not going to do a big, massive, long intro about all of this stuff. I'm going to give you a mini review on everything I've used from top to bottom and uh, hopefully save you some amount of money along the way or make you spend some money, whichever way this goes. So <laughs> we'll wait and see. I'll just pick what's popping out of the bag right now. And this is the LV Dream Links uh, Detangling Conditioner. I loved this this whole range, there is nothing in the Dream Links range that I have tried that I don't like. Now, the reason I got this, because you'll be saying, Kath, you love Philip Kingsley, what are you doing? I do love Philip Kingsley. However, I take an age to use up shampoo, but conditioner, I go through like nobody's business. So I've still got one bottle of shampoo that's Philip Kingsley I've been using for like months, and I use up the conditioner ages ago. So to stop me from dipping into another collection because you know me and my loft stash. I have stash and stash of Philip Kingsley, but I don't want to go through conditioners and then have a ton of shampoo left. So I have a plan and the plan is to pick up other conditioners. And this is big. I mean, I've still got that same shampoo going and this is huge, but I loved this. Um, I used a fair amount through the mid lengths and ends of my hair and the rest of it, whatever's on my hands, I put through the roots. And then I um, I put it in a bun and I shower and then I wash it out towards the end of my shower. This stuff smells amazing, does detangle the hair, leaves my hair really, really shiny and soft. It says for long damaged hair. My hair is neither particularly long nor damaged because it's not colour treated anymore. It's completely natural, but... I just loved it and I'm definitely going to get this again. I have a Kerastase one on the go at the moment, uh, but after that's done, and if I haven't finished my Philip Kingsley shampoo, I'll definitely pick another one of these up because they're always on special in boots. Always, always, always. Um, oh, here we go. LV Dream Links Wonder Water, eight second Wonder Water. This stuff is phenomenal. Now, I was a bit skeptical because I, I just basically really wanted to try it. Oh, there's a little bit left. Oh, I might. Get a bit out more out there. Oh, okay. It might just be tap water. I'm not sure because I did rinse it first. Um, but sorry, completely by the by. So this, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a pre-conditioning conditioner almost. Now it says it's a lamella conditioner, long hair transformation. Leaves your hair 10 times smoother, healthier shine, silicon free with no way down. Tick, 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 tick. So what you do, and I use this once a week now, I've got another one backed up, trust me. And again, at the moment, I saw in Boots yesterday, this is half price. It's $9.99 for the full price. This is $4.99 currently. And it has on the back your kind of serving suggestion, if you like. So like 20 mil use at a time. So this, you shampoo your hair. I shampoo my hair twice. Then when your hair is shampooed, you untwist the top and you put this in your hair at the ends only, mid lengths and ends only. Don't take it near the roots. So I sort of do that this side, this, that side, and then I get my hands and I kind of rub it in for eight seconds. That's all you need, eight seconds, legit. Then you rinse it out, then you condition. Oh my God. It leaves my hair so great. If I haven't got time to do an elasticizer, if I haven't got time to do a mask, uh, this is just everything. I love it. And I'm definitely going to continue to use it as part of my hair routine as my hair grows. I am going to continue to grow my hair. So, you know, yes, all of the ticks. Should we just stick to hair? I've got some, there's quite a bit, a few hair stuffs. Way condition, uh, sorry, texturizing hairspray. I think I've mentioned this before. This is my second or third. I have a, I have a backup. It's out there. It's being used used it today. So 
Today, my hair is a non-hair wash day. So I washed my hair yesterday. Today, I just dry shampooed it. I uh, put the curling irons through it and I use this after. This says, this is by Jen Atkin. So this says, like dry shampoo and hairspray had a baby. This ultra lightweight hairspray that builds incredible volume and texture packed with volcanic minerals to absorb oil and refresh hair. So I did use, I don't use this as a dry shampoo. I use this as well as a dry shampoo. And as you can see, I just love the texture of my hair when my hair is like, you know, um, what's the word? Uh, tonged, curled, whatever. Uh, Cause I do use the heat tongs on it. I don't use my Dyson Air app. When it's second day hair, I need the heat. Uh, I only use it at 200 degrees. So it's still not damaging, but this just really peps up the volume and makes it gorgeous. And um, I will always have this in my hair care routine. I absolutely love it. Then we move on to my second bottle of the Kerastase Genesis Defense Thermique. This is a anti-hair fall fortifying blow dry fluid. Protects your hair up to 220 degrees. So as I just said, I use 200 degrees on this. So this is non-damaging. Uh, it also help, stops your hair or helps stop your hair from falling out. Um, my hair does fall out a fair bit. I think most women or most people, you lose a hundred strands of hair a day, uh, which is healthy, it's fine. But anything I can do to kind of stop that, keep my hair healthier and thicker, yes, yes, yes. As I said, this is a repurchase. I haven't repurchased it yet. I am going to, but I had in my loft, I had in my stash, I had um, a Lee Stafford, uh, what do you call it? Um, the, oh, the, the growth spray, I can't remember what it was called, like, it's help, help, help your hair grow anyway, whatever it is. So I've got one of those and I've got the Hair Apology spray. So I thought I'm gonna use those up first. So I'm using Hair Apology right now. Uh, so I haven't repurchased this, but it's amazing. I highly recommend it and I look fantastic. It's always so cheap. Links are below and uh, yeah, love it. Definitely worth it. Hair care product. So glad I finally used this up. This is the Olaplex number no. six Bond Smoother. Do you remember? I got this kit. This is the, the Olaplex starter kit back in November or December. I did a video, Olaplex versus Philip Kingsley. I'll link it here. And uh, oh my God, like this has taken me forever to use up. I don't use it every time I wash my hair. So, you know, whatever. But it's a leave-in reparative styling cream that reduces frizz, nourishes and protects. Um, mm, I went through my views on Olaplex before, didn't love it. It's okay, this, I didn't notice it did anything, but because I'm a tight ass, I couldn't just chuck it in the bin or give it away, because it, it does something. But I used it in the ends of my hair after I washed my hair, probably like once or twice a month I used this. Um, I do use a Bond Smoother, but I use the Philip Kingsley one, which is my favorite, because with that I can actually see a difference. When I use the Philip Kingsley Bond Smoother, it lasts for three washes. So I put it in my hair when my hair's almost due a cut. So once my hair's been cut, I don't use it for like two or three months. My hair now is due a cut, but I'm, not, I'm gonna wait until I'm after my holiday. So like middle of September. So I will be using that Philip Kingsley. So I put it in the ends of my hair when my hair's damp. It's heat activated. So as you blow dry your hair, it seals in at the ends and then your hair looks like it's been freshly cut. Mine's a blunt cut, so it looks really blunt. That's great. This didn't do that. I don't really know what it did, if anything. Um, so I'm not going to repurchase this. It's okay. My hairdresser did tell me, before the Olaplex fans come for me, my hairdresser did tell me that Olaplex is more beneficial for people that have really bleached or really coloured hair. My hair is 100% natural. So I don't need all this stuff. And I keep forgetting I don't need all this stuff. After years and years of battering my hair, it's really hard for me to come to terms with the fact that all I really need to do is shampoo, condition it, and use a bit of oil in it. And for a beauty addict, it's really hard to be really minimal, you know? So anyway, <laughs> uh, I want to talk about these two things because they're not completely empty, but they will be tonight and I want to get rid of them. So this, oh God, I'm so sad to show you this. This is one of my favorite face scrubs. And when I say a face scrub, you know I use the Elemis um, peels, different ball game. This is an actual face exfoliating scrub. And this is by The Sanctuary at Boots. 
and it's a complexion perfecting radiance exfoliator a skin polishing brightening gel with exfoliating apricot seeds and revitalizing pineapple brightening papaya and pumpkin doesn't it sound great it really was but i can't find this anywhere i have another um my mum bought me my i can't compare them she bought my other favorite face scrub for christmas and i haven't even opened it yet so i'm gonna open that now but this little bit will get used tonight before my facial. And um, I don't use this all the time. This is, I've probably had for a year, but I do just sometimes love an old school exfoliator. And sometimes I haven't got time to sit 15 minutes for the peel on my face. I just genuinely don't. My skin needs to be exfoliated. So this is really quick and easy, old school exfoliator. Kind of reminds me of the Apri scrub, but like 2.0. If you remember the Apri scrub, how much that thing hurt. It's like that, but it doesn't hurt. And then the second thing that's not finished, that will be finished tonight, is my um, L'Oreal Paris Pure Clay Detox Mask. And as you can see, the dregs are there that will get dug out tonight and slapped all over my face. I love these. So, sorry, I would repurchase this if I could. I can't find it. I'm really sad. I think it's gone. But this is still going. And this is a really nice scrub. So again, if you just a fan of an old school clay mask. For me, my skin, I've said to you before, my skin is oily, my skin is textured, I have breakouts, I have menopausal skin, my skin does all kind of crazy things. But this clay mask, I genuinely love. My friend bought me one of these about two years ago for my birthday, and I have continued to buy it since then. And it's a really good size. It's 50 mil. And as you know, with a clay mask, you don't use like tons of it. So I reckon I've had about 10 applications out of this. It's good going. And it really works. I really like it. Uh, face stuff. Okay, let's do some more face stuff. So... This is the Moisturising Face Wash by Simple. God, drunk again. Uh, Moisturising Face Wash by Simple. I love this. This is probably one of my favourite face washes. So this is like a drugstore face wash. At the moment, I'm using the lovely Elemis one, which is great. But I wouldn't buy that stand alone. I always get it in kits on QVC. And when I get it, it's a real treat. But day to day, I love this one or the CeraVe not the salicylic acid, but well, I didn't get on with that one. It's the foaming cleanser, but I can't remember what type of one it is. But this is lovely. This is my go-to. I'm going to buy one of these for my holiday. I've got a two-week holiday coming up. Don't worry. I'm going to be doing a video about all the stuff I'm taking on holiday. I'll bring you guys with me. And uh, I'm going to get one of these to use because I love it. And then these, and this is what I'm always like shouted out for. But I love a simple face wipe. Now, I love these. And I've been buying these from Savers because Boots and Superdrug now, they're phasing these out and going biodegradable. Great news. Love that for them. Good for the environment. All for it. However, they suck. They need to work on the formula and make them much more like the original. So these I've been picking up from Savers in a multi-pack of two. Now, I use these to remove the bulk of my makeup before I go in with my... Um, cleansing balm because uh i just think using a cleansing balm when you've got a face full of makeup is a waste sorry Geely. so i just use these to lightly take all of the stuff off and then i go in with a cleanse uh, cleansing balm and then i use the dynamic face wash to do the rest so i love these i've been using them for donkey's years we'll never stop using them i love them right um what have we got next? Let's do the Nails Ink Rapid Remover Pot. This Nails Ink Remover Pots, um, I, I've spoken about these so many times. Yes, I love them. Yes, I'll repurchase it. Yes, yes, yes. So you'll see this is when you need to get rid of it. So if you don't know about these, this is a little pot that's got nail polish remover inside that little sponge. And it's got a hole for your finger. So you basically put your finger in, twist it, pull it out, and your nail polish is poof, gone. It's brilliant. And these typically last me three or four months. I change my nails once, twice a week. Um, little note though, I always say, if you have a polish that you know stains, 
don't use this because it will stain the inside of the sponge. So um, I love these, but I only use them on colours that I know don't stain. And to be honest, now I've got rid of all my colours that stain because I haven't got time for that faffage. But these I get from QVC. They come in a kit of three and they're usually 20 quid. And if you buy them in the shops, they're about eight or nine pounds each. So it's a good saving, but I really love these. They're really good. And another thing, if you're traveling, they don't leak. You can turn it upside down and nothing comes out unless you squeeze the sponge. I learned that the hard way many years ago. <laughs> oh dear, right. Um, let's do this one quickly because we do it all the time. These are the Avon hand creams. Oh my, literally, I feel like every time we sit down to do trash talk, there's one of these. This is my least favorite and I will not repurchase it again because it was weird. It's the overnight moisture with lavender hand cream. I don't know if it was more of a treatment one. It was quite thick. The lavender smell didn't really smell of lavender. I don't know. It's just a bit strange. I didn't like it. I love all of the others. I love the avocado is my favorite. I love the um, cocoa butter one. There are some great ones, but this one really wasn't for me. So I wouldn't get that one again, but can't win them all. Um, we could do a little makeup section. So, okay, I used up one of these and this was at my mum's. So this is the um, Soap and Glory Limited Edition Jingle Blooms Body Butter. So I love these. I pick these up every Christmas when boots have their like 70% off sale. There are a number of things that I have to grab and I always grab these. They usually come in a kit with a shower gel. They're mini, so I leave them at my mum's for when I stay over, because as you know, I stay at hers once a month or so. If I can get there anymore, I will. Um, and uh, I also love the pack of the sheet masks. They do like eight or six or seven sheet masks, I think, and um, you can get a real bargain. This was really nice. If you know the Soap and Glory smell, the original one, this is like a Christmassy twist on it. But it's not, a, it's not so strong that you couldn't use it in spring or summer. Like, I use it all year round. And um, any perfume you put on top of it kind of cancels out the smell. But I just love a good body butter. And I like to moisturise every day. So that was good. And I think when you buy that in the 70% off sale, it's like pound fifty. So it's crazy, crazy good pricing. Um, makeup. Yep. Okay. Makeup. Let's do it. So we have got the Lasting Perfection Banana Sheer Loose Powder. It looks like it's got quite a lot left in there, but when you get to this point, it, you're just, you can't get anything out. And it's three pounds, so I'm not gonna argue with it, but I just hate smacking it really, really hard to get like three grains out of it. It's a really nice one. The banana though, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it again, because it does change the color of my foundation, especially now I'm in spring, summer colors, so I have a slight color to my face. In the winter, this is quite nice, because it means I have to use less bronzer, but in the summer, it does make my 2W Dior foundation look a little bit more orange than I would like. So yes, I would purchase it again. Yes, I would recommend it to you, but just note that if you're wearing a darker foundation now, that might make it even darker. So I've gone back to translucent for now, but come autumn, winter, I will uh, be doing that. This is a sad story. This is the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation in Nude. This has gone off. I got this last year from Selfridges. Look how much is left. And you can see the discoloration of it. You can see it's got a marbling to it. It doesn't smell good. I'm really upset. Oh, yeah, it smells horrible. Um, no. It's a very thick foundation as well, but I picked up a different shade in the QVC sale because it was like £19 and it's lovely. So I think this was off when I bought it because I haven't used it much. As you can see, I was saving it for summer because it's quite dark, but it's not that dark. That marbling is like... It's gone funny. I'm not impressed. It was on sale when I got it in Selfridges, but it shouldn't mean that it's off or about to go off. So no, I wouldn't repurchase that. Um, then I got through another of my Buttermilk Lasting Perfection concealers. I'm not gonna bore you with the details. We go through these every single month. I use it here as a bit of an extra coverage to cover my texture. Buttermilk's the same shade as 2W, but Dior, so it fits really well. 
It's great. End of story. I love it. Then I am now getting rid of my beauty blender, which is the nude colour. I didn't wash it because I thought, why? Uh, you can't really see because it's shrunk down again now. But oh yeah, here you go. It's got like, it started to go funny. It started to discolour. It's got a bit of mouldy stuff there. Bacteria in your skin, all that. It's not good. When it starts to come apart a little bit, that's when you need to get rid of it. Um, this I've had for... I want to say three months. I, they typically last me three months and I have got backups because I always got get loads on Black Friday and in various sales and bless my followers and my Instagram followers. They always send me when they find deals from beauty blenders. They always send me going, Kath, get this, get this. And I always get it because I always use a beauty blender. I always need beauty blenders. This was the Bad Gal Bang uh, Mascara Mini one by Benefit. Weirdly, when I had this in a full size, I hated it. But in the mini size with the mini brush, it was actually really nice. The brush itself was quite good. It was, I think because the full size brush, I don't know if this is a full size brush, but I found this really easy to like get right into the roots and it was, it was really nice. But I wouldn't get the full size because I have had that before and I hated it. So if I was gonna get another one, I would get the travel size. And I think I got this free or I got it really cheaply. I can't remember which one, because I've had it for, in my rotation for a while. It might have been like four or five pounds on like a look fantastic 30% off or something. I think I bought it, um, but yeah. Uh, I've gone through, this is the ones I was telling you about last time. This is the hair, skin and nail gummies. I need to take mine today, I've forgotten to take them. With collagen for hair, skin and nail maintenance. I get these from Boots. They're 20 pounds each, but they're usually uh, three for two. So I got them my last lot on a three for two. And yes, I will continue to use these. As I've said, I am growing out my hair. I am always growing my nails. I'm menopausal. I'm lacking collagen anyway, because I'm over 40. So, you know, tick, tick, tick. And because I'm doing a Slimming World, I don't get to eat any sweets. And these are really nice um, flavor, like, like berry flavoured gummies so I have to have two of them a day and I usually leave them until I want a little bit of a snack mid-afternoon <laughs> so that all works out really well but I do like them they've really I have noticed a difference now my hair went through a stage of not growing and all of a sudden it's kind of just grown so loving that for me this is the Hourglass Arch Sculpting Pencil in Warm Brunette I've got another one of these on the go. You know I love this. This is my ultimate favourite brow product. And I've said before, because now my brows have grown out really nicely, I don't need a product to draw on brows. I need something just to fill in the little bald spots. This one, the colour match is great for me. The pencil texture is really waxy. The spoolie is great, so I, I don't really use, need to use it that much, but if I go in a little bit heavy-handed or something, I just use a spoolie to pull the colour through. And because it's such a waxy pencil and so skinny, it just deposits the colour really nicely with the spoolie. I just love everything about it. And I usually pick it up again when it's on some kind of sale and I just multi-buy because at this point now, I know what I like and it's unfortunately usually quite expensive. So let's be honest, whenever there's a sale, we need to stock up. Perfume. Rarely I go through perfumes, but I have got lots of little bits left. And I think I said in my last trash talk that get ready for some more perfume because I am getting rid of the ones I'm saving the little bits of. I need to clear them out because I've got a new perfume obsession, which I will talk to you about very shortly. But this is the Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. I love it. I'm not going to get it again only because it's one of those fragrances right that I love it but I only love it periodically I go through phases I got a bottle of this for my 40th birthday three years ago once that ran out I picked up another one straight away I'm now 43 and it's taken me this long to use that one up it's really nice it's really spicy very grown up but not really my vibe anymore at this point in time. But I'm sure at some point I will get it again. This one has become my new obsession. Now, this is by a brand called uh, Federico Mahora, uh, FM to other people that might recognise that brand name. This is a dupe. 
for the Kirk de Jean Baccarat Rouge, Baccarat Rouge, however you want to say it. Now, when I say a dupe, it's an absolute dupe. So here's the bottle, it's called number 910. Now you can't just go into a shop and buy these, you have to know a representative, I know one. If you want her details, hit me up. This perfume lasts about six hours on. It is an absolute dupe for Barracara Rouge 510. And I know that because I went to Selfridges and I sprayed that on and then I sprayed this on. Zero difference. This is £27.50. Barracara Rouge is £215. Nobody knows. And if someone says, is that Barracara Rouge? I say, yes, it is. And if you know that now, I know you've watched this video. So keep my secret because if people want to think that I'm about to spend £215 on perfume, crack on. I'm not going to. I have other fragrances too. I have Tom Ford ones and others, but keep that between us. Today I'm wearing Tom Ford Vanilla Tobacco, Tobacco Vanilla, and it's fabulous. So, Molten Brown, Invigorating Juma, Suma, <laughs> Suma Ginseng Bath and Shower Gel. I love a Molten Brown Shower Gel. I really do. This one is great. I got these, this is in a kit from QVC for the Jubilee. Mm. This is very masculine. It's very musky, but you know what? I'm here for it. It's quite citrusy and it's got ginseng in it. I don't know what ginseng smells like, but I'm assuming that's the musky bit of it. Oof, it's very nice. Um, I do enjoy it. Uh, there's nothing really on here about it. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, Heart of the Piranha, can't be how you pronounce it, I'm probably butchering this uh, Brazilian, but the Piranha Jungle, live with the resounding calls of wildlife, wooden canoe tied to the rushing riverbank, bushels of twisted light gold and ginseng roots in woven baskets, embark on an expedition into a rare untouched world. Top notes of lemon, bergamot, galbanum, Heart of juniper berry, cinnamon and geranium, a base of patchouli, cedar leaf and amber. Cedar, that's what it is. That's the musky bit. Mmm, yes. Would definitely, definitely buy this actually. I really like it. I love a musky shower gel that smells a bit manly and lovely. So yeah, all for it. <gasps> oh, I've got one more little bit before the Elemis section. This is the Pat McGrath uh, Divine Skin Rose Essence. It was. I really liked it. And I've, I did slag off essences a little bit before. I did, I did, I did. But uh, this one I really liked. I wouldn't buy it. I mean, it's like 85 quid or something. Like, come on, get a grip, guys. But it was really nice. Um, if I won the lottery, if somebody gifted it to me, or if Pat McGrath herself wanted to send me one, I would definitely use it it really did give my skin a gorgeous glow and made my makeup sit really well i was really enjoying it but not that much i will get my glow somewhere else hourglass you know i've got a glow today didn't use that it's fine now if you're still here thank you there's not much we're nearly there so i'm gonna do two in one because it's basically the same product this is the Frangipani Manoi Velvet Body Butter and Bath and Shower Milk. I really love these shower milks. I've finished this one, obviously. I have another one on the go of a different scent, different aromatic. This one is really opulent. It's really deep. It's really like floral, but heavy floral. Ooh, it's nice. Um, Perfume match, because as you know, I like to describe these different fragrances with perfumes I'd pair it with. These I would pair with Coco Chanel Mademoiselle. It's that kind of heavy floral fragrance. Uh, would actually be a perfect combo. So I think I actually did that. I think that's why it all ran out at the same time. So yeah, love these for that. And uh, before we zip on, uh, this Molten Brown one, perfume match, probably um, Jo Malone ba uh, Basil and Mandarin, Lime Basil and Mandarin, that sort of citrusy, kick flavour. Mm, yum. But yes, we we'll definitely get them again. Love the shower milk. It's very luxurious. Great for shaving. Uh, the body butter is amazing. It's not really thick and heavy. It just goes into your skin. Everything you could want. 
I'm not going to spend long on this because I, I always do. So this is the Pro Collagen Marine Cream Day Cream by Elemis. Yes, I go through a ton of it. Yes, it's my favorite. Get over it. I've still got loads in the loft. It's a, it's a, I'm not going to say a game changer because I say it every time. It's a staple in my makeup and in my skincare and everything. My makeup sits on top of it beautifully. My skin really reacts to it really well. It changes with my skin's needs. It's everything I want and more in a face cream. I am using something different right now. Still Elemis, but a different face cream. But I have lots of these left. And I even have an SPF 30 one that I picked up in the last TSV. So I'm good for the rest of the summer. Dynamic Resurfacing Skin Smoothing Essence. Wouldn't repurchase it. Don't come for me. Essence, uh, Elemis people, I know you watch this. I don't understand essence. I've used it. I've finished it. It's fine. I've got another essence from Cordley I'm using right now. Um, it's okay. Kind of an unnecessary step to me. Like, I feel like I don't need to use it. I cleanse, I tone, I use serum, I moisturize. I use a separate moisturizer for my eyes. I don't know why I need to put something on between my toner and my serum. I don't understand. It didn't do much for me. I'm gonna stop doing it after I finish my quarterly one. I would actually sell the quarterly one, but it's a glass bottle and it's gonna be a pain to send to somebody on eBay. So I'm just gonna use it and just be like, not for me. But I do put it on every day and I'm like, oh, for God's sake, like it's just, it's a waste of 50 seconds I don't need in the morning. It's just another thing to slap on my face. So I'm sure lots of people love it. But for me personally, I'm always here to be honest. You know, I love Elemis. I love everything Elemis. It was a nice product, but I didn't see a change. I didn't think I needed to use it. So that's just me. But, you know, you do you. Guys, that's it. Thank you so much for sticking with me. It's a long one as always, but this is your favorite video. So I'm glad you don't mind watching it for four hours. Um, I need to do some recycling because there is a lot of stuff here. So guys, until next month, until the next trash talk, until I'm back from my holiday, you will see me looking incredibly bronze the next time we meet. <sighs> I haven't had a holiday for three years. I've not been on a beach in three years. You're going to have to peel me off that beach every day when the sun goes down. Guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for all your lovely comments. I will be back in your eyes and ears next Sunday at 7am with a brand new video. Take care, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.